All right, hey, what's going on guys? Not my usual vlog, but I had to do this one after work just because my weekend is, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday and I wanted to come down to the parking garage to test out the fusion module. Um, so I had to kind of, you know, do it after work on a weekend when the garage would be mostly empty. So anyway, like it says in the title, this is not, this is, you know, I'm flying the Fusion and I'm flying HD, but it's not necessarily a comparison or a shootout because I've flown the HD system down here before. So, you know, I've got my Buzz and I've got my HD quad and I've flown the HD quad down here before and I don't, I don't really think it's fair to compare DJI to analog indoors because DJI uses what's, well, okay, so what people think is that DJI uses MIMO, which is basically the air unit and the goggles transmit and receive. So it's able to like basically heal the signal. And so what that means is when there's multi-path, DJI actually works better. So I'm gonna fly analog because I wanna see how the fusion works, but then I'm gonna fly HD just to kind of show you guys what it looks like because I think that HD actually performs better indoors than it does outdoors. But yeah, it's not, it's not really a fair comparison, so uh, I'm not gonna call it a comparison, but I do wanna see how the fusion does indoors. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, my Emacs buzz on, uh, I think I'm gonna start with 25. So, if you guys don't know, uh, the reason why I'm testing this indoors is because, you know, the whole point of these blending modules like Fusion and Rapid Fire is they're supposed to handle reflection better than just diversity. So yeah, I'm just kind of curious to see how it does because I've been, I've been flying in this garage for like five years. I basically started flying down here the same week that I started flying with my ZMR250. So I, I know how the signal looks in here. So I'm just, I'm just kind of curious to see if it improves. I'm just going to cruise around. <sighs> okay, pretty good. So you can see those lines. That's the, uh, that's the module blending the signals. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bad around the building. See how far we can go. Ooh, 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 okay. So that's, that flipping, that's like, I believe that's what they call sink loss. Um, so the picture kind of rolls. I've seen that sink loss before, but I don't know. I think it's like just maybe buggy firmware because I am on like beta firmware 0.27. Um, and I get that occasionally and then I'll power cycle and then it's fine. So, yeah, I'm gonna power cycle it. Cause yeah, that, that, that flipping image, like the flipping screen and going black and white, that means it's like losing sync and it's like not really doing its job. Let's try again. If it does again, I'll just call it. But again, you know, flying down this way, I'm putting this, like whatever this is, this entryway, I'm putting that in between me and the quad. So it's, you know, it's pretty good interference. Uh, yeah, it's still doing it. Let's try 200. I don't think, usually going higher power indoors just makes it worse, but I'm just curious.
Yeah, same. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if that's just like something they need to work on in the firmware or if it's to be expected. I mean, it's okay when I have clear line of sight like down here, it's pretty good. So even, even with the sync loss, it's still pretty good. Because again, I'm putting that entryway, that building, in between me and the quad, and then I'm flying away. Um, I mean, I think that's pretty good. I, I didn't bring my commanders to compare. I mean, I've flown this whole garage. Um, so yeah, I guess maybe the reflections are getting too bad, or maybe they just, maybe when that hardware upgrade comes out, it'll be better. But even, but flying line of sight, it's pretty good. It's, it's a little bit, uh, it's better than I remember. So, so that was analog. Um, now real quick, we'll try HD, because I still got to get home for dinner. Okay, so this is what HD looks like. She's an Omni, I'm at 25 milliwatt. Recording. So I'm in auto focus mode, and you'll notice that the uh, the focus doesn't even kick in when you're indoors because it's like I said. I think it's just like using the reflections to its advantage. And then if we go down this way, where we were like losing sync like nothing really happens. And this, this is at 25 milliwatt, like DJI just like loves being indoor. And I'm at like max bit rate. And I don't know if you guys know, but um, someone quote unquote found out that you can like hack the goggles to get 1,000 and 1,200 milliwatt options. I haven't tried that yet though. So yeah, indoors, like, I mean, granted, it's kind of grainy in here because it's dark, but you can tell, like, it's not even having to kick in the focus mode because it's got full signal at 25 milliwatt. How do you guys think the uh, image compares to my Sparrow 2 Pro in this environment? Again, this is, this is a pretty dark garage. Sparrow, I think, is set to stock. And then on the uh, HD, I'm using plus two. So yeah, that's why um, I say um, you, you can't compare DJI HD to analog indoors because the HD system, for some reason, the way it works, it uses the reflection and it's better than it works outside. Like I'm getting max bit rate at 25 milliwatt, I'm getting max bit rate putting this entryway in between me and the quad and it just like absolutely does not care. It's it's phenomenal indoors. I like, if you guys watched my vlog, you know, two months ago when I first flew it down here, I was just, I was completely blown away. So that's why I would never, you know, call this video a comparison because that's just not fair. Um, so that begs the question, if it's, if it's not even a comparison, why am I still flying analog? I know a lot of people keep asking me that. And, you know, and like I've said before, I'm gonna keep training with analog. Um, I still use analog for testing, like with my buzz and and I'm getting ready to build a toothpick quad. I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, like I've been, I've been following the hype for a while. Like I like people are coming out with 16 by 16 stacks, and now we've got like nano FPV cameras. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to try that. I don't know where I'm gonna fly it. Maybe I'll 
flight at work. <laughs> um, but you know, building quads is fun. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's analog indoors with the fusion module. Um, it did pretty good until I ran around the building and then it started losing sync. Um, and then you got to see how HD does indoors and it's just like phenomenal. That's my voltage. I don't have a chair, but I'm gonna raise the camera tilt real quick and just uh, do some hot laps. And I say I don't have a chair because doing hot laps, especially like on an empty stomach. I don't like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you know that I do intermittent fasting. So I haven't eaten today and it is now seven o'clock. Um, so I'm kind of shaky. I don't have a chair, but I'm going to try to do some hot laps. You know what? I'm going to lean against the wall. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, let's try it like this, leaning against the wall. Yeah, that's a, that's a little tough on an empty stomach and no chair. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's the Fusion module and DJI HD indoors. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, guys, just a real quick, um, like, disclaimer. So, you know, flying around the building with the Fusion module, flying around the building, I was losing sync, and it was uh, breaking up really bad. When we come down here and race and fly together, we don't ever fly around that building. So I like, um, like I don't want people to think that the fusion did poorly because it did pretty good. Um, like we, yeah, we never intentionally fly around that building on analog um, because you know you're you're putting a huge building in the concrete building in between you and the quad. So you know flying everywhere else that we would normally fly, it did great. Um, so yeah, don't think that it did horrible because it was losing sync on the other side of that building. Does that make sense? All right. Thanks for watching.